Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Daniel M47 back with them. Uh I, I I almost said another video, but I mean I haven't recorded one in like I don't even know, like three years maybe? With like an actual playthrough of something. Or just playing anything in general now that I think about it. It's probably been at least two years. I can I can almost guarantee you that. So this will be my first like first party Nintendo game. Also not like semi action game besides like Pokemon Go. But yeah, so Animal Crossing New Horizons. That's what we're going to be playing. Um I wanna say I can I wanna I want to do this for a long time. I mean Animal Crossing is something that I kind of grew up with. I played it on the GameCube when it originally came out. When I got the DS, honestly, I, I did not know that they came out with an Animal Crossing for the DS, and I never had a 3DS until like the end of its lifespan, but I'm super excited for this. I'm really hyped to get back into it, so uh, here we go. <laughs> into the New Horizon. So I'm sure you guys are all aware that this is like on a deserted island and everything like that. And um, that actually kind of hits home with me, which is really funny that I'm coming back to this after treatment and everything. Because um, if you all aren't aware already, I'm sure you've seen it before me talk about it a little bit in some of my other videos. Um, I was actually diagnosed with leukemia a few years back. And uh, for my Make-A-Wish, I actually went to Kauai, Hawaii. So, that's definitely the town we were in. It's definitely what we're going to be naming this. Oh, Timmy. How? They look like little Tom Nooks. <laughs> Good evening. We're so excited to have you here. Have you here? What? Was that the... Uh, I'm confused. <laughs> Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Okay. Welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. <laughs> okay. Alright. There is so much to look forward to, but first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. So, are they like Tom Nook's children? Because I don't remember him having a wife, unless that was like added, you know, in like the six years I haven't uh, it's been more than six years since I played an Animal Crossing game, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I'm Tommy. Okay, so Timmy and Tommy will be flying to the island. Well, we'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. All right. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul, so let's get started, shall we? Okay. Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Hmm, okay. I mean, everyone is aware of my name, so that is Daniel. There we go. The world of Animal Crossing is welcoming to all, so don't include personal info or offensive words. I mean, it's literally everywhere I go, so I don't think it can get any more personal than that, but all right. And birthday. I'm gonna blur it out for safety purposes, but uh, well, no, it doesn't even have the year, so yeah, May 29th. That's all that really matters. All right, Daniel. Daniel, let's see. Oh, yes, here you are. Ah, oh, I forgot. Like, the <laughs> them speaking is just oh my god, I haven't heard that in so long. I mean, I, I think I actually turned on the, like, because I don't usually play mobile games with volume on, but I did actually play a little bit of the mobile game with it on, uh, just so I could hear that, but just hearing it through, like, a headset, and, like, actually, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, our next stop, or no, step, sorry, will be to take a picture of you, Daniel. Oh, don't worry, take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. You are. <laughs> okay. Alright. Well, I'm definitely a male. Alright. Pretty white. No, wait, no, no. Okay, this is white. Pretty white. Super white. Alright, so yeah. Unfortunately, I am this... Well... I mean, I'm 
I'm pretty white. Alright, I'm pretty white. Oh, no. Okay, sorry. I thought that went to the next one. Alright. <laughs> uh, no. Maybe. Definitely no. And these are the female ones. Okay, so this is not that one. Yeah, that's probably the best I'm gonna get. Um, I mean, that is red, I guess. It's just kind of weird as it was the first one. <laughs> Alright. Eyes. I mean, we're just gonna go with, like, the base. That looks pretty regular villager to me. Oh, that is very blue. And that's just weird. All right, yeah, I guess we gotta go with very blue. Let's check out these other eyes. No, 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 no. I mean, I don't even, that looks like a freaking Pac-Man chicken. I don't, <laughs> like, honestly, I don't even know to do that. Okay, all right, that, I'm not even gonna comment on that. <laughs> all right, base, base of villager eyes. Uh, yeah. yeah, we'll have the round one. Yeah, we'll have a wider smile. Just a party. No, we'll have a regular smile, alright. Um, no, we don't need any of that. And I think that was it, right? Yes, okay. And then clothes and stuff obviously come later. Yes, everything looks all right. Great, you're all set, all set. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting, exciting. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Current home. So tell me, Daniel, where do you live now? Live now. <laughs> I don't know why I keep reading that secondary live now. <laughs> yes, I live in North America. Hi, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So, naturally, we'd recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. I mean, yeah, that kind of makes sense. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay to you so far? I'm not, I'm, I'm just gonna stop reading this second so far. <laughs> sure. Okay, so... Oh, so I think this is where you get to pick your island, right? No, I'll just... Yes, okay, I'm assuming this is where you get to pick your island. Yeah, and I know that later on you can apparently actually terraform and everything, and that's dope, because obviously you couldn't do that in the GameCube version, so it's... Okay, alright, I'll show you some maps now, you can choose the best one for your new home. Not really. <laughs> okay, so... I did see somewhere because I've been watching a lot of stuff about this that if you get like an island that has like waterways that are like going really far past the two that actually link to the ocean because all of them have two of those you will have a problem with accessing a lot of the map because so like this one right here, obviously you're not going to be able to get to that one little island in the middle, like, until late game. So yeah, it looks cool, but apparently you don't get bridges till later, so that's automatically out. And honestly, we can just make it later if we really want to anyways. Um, I mean, that seems pretty basic. I don't... I mean, I want something cool. Like, that seems interesting. But I don't know if that fits into that same category I was talking about. Oh, we only get to pick these four, so we gotta reset. Oh, ouch. Okay. Hmm. Man, I don't know. 
I honestly don't know because obviously in the GameCube version, like you you, you couldn't pick this stuff. Like <laughs> this is totally different. <laughs> Uh, so this one and this one are both bad ideas. Because it's split into like four sections. Well, no, they're all split into four sections, technically speaking. Mm. I mean, this would be less work for me to do late game, but like early game, it's gonna kinda suck. These two, I think, is what we're gonna have to pick between, honestly. Mmm. So, okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one, and I'll explain to you why as we're going through this. So basically, the island that I went to was Kauai, obviously, in Hawaii, and the reason I picked that one specifically was because, you know, Honolulu is like where all the tourists go and everything like that, and out of all of the Hawaii islands, Kauai is supposedly supposed to be the most relaxing, the most, or the least populated, I should say. And, I mean, obviously, I was going through chemo and everything, so I, I like, I, and I, honestly, I didn't really care about getting sick or anything. I just wanted to go somewhere to not have to worry about much of anything, and Kauai seemed like the nicest place. And from what I've seen... And from being there, obviously I haven't been to the other ones. Apparently Kauai is like the most underrated Hawaiian island of all of them. And if that is the most underrated, I can only imagine what the other ones are like. Because, oh my god, I loved it there. And the resort that we stayed at was actually like... It wasn't... It was like close to the ocean. Um, but, which is where, like, my house is going to be, but the, um, in this game, and then the, um, like, city we landed in was sort of, like, in the general, like, middle area, I guess you could say. I mean, a lot of the middle is taken up by mountains in Kauai, but about as middle as you could get without being on top of a mountain, obviously, so... <laughs> Alright, wonderful choice. I can't wait to show it off to you. Ah, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you could bring one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? Um... Okay. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I was reading these, and they all seemed pretty basic until I got to this last one, and I saw something to kill, and I didn't read time, and I literally thought it said something to kill myself with, and I was like, Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know if that says anything about me. I just, that was really funny. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't, I mean, a sleeping bag would be good. But honestly, I'd probably be scared that I'd wake up with something crawling around inside of it. A lamp, I think, would probably be the best thing for me. Anyways. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, that was just a hypothetical question. Yeah, okay. Nook Inc. will fully cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. Your attention, please. This is a service announcement. The chartered flight for Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. So besides these guys, is, there, is anyone else going to be there? I mean, you usually get like four or five in the first one? Anyways. Thank you for taking this chartered, uh, chartered flight as part of Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about the deserted island life. <laughs> the music. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, hello. That's an actual whammon. That's an actual dude. Oh, this is probably just a cutscene. Okay. I was like, why are there people? And there's, there's only supposed to be other <laughs> animals. <laughs> hey, I remember her from the GameCube. I think I remember that yellow dog as well. Was it Freya the fox? Don't particularly remember. Oh, no. I remember the bird. The one on the far left. Sharks? Dude, 
dude, I hope you can take screenshots like this in game. That'd be pretty dope. Because I've been hearing about the uh, Nook phone. You can do a lot of stuff and you can take pictures, but I'm not exactly sure how that works. Hello. Who are is that a kangaroo? Yes, that is a kangaroo. <laughs> now I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're heading there right now if you'd like to move left thumbstick to follow us. Okay. Alright. Who is your fearless leader? Is it your father, Tom Nook? Can I pick this up? No, I cannot. <gasps> it is! It's Tom Nook! Hey there, old buddy, old pal! Alrighty, is that everyone? Let's see. Oh wait, those guys... The kangaroo and the bird must have come with me on the plane, I'm assuming. Alright, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Sylvia here? Okay. Oh, Sylvia's the... Okay. And how about Sparrow? Okay, that's pretty... <laughs> and there's Daniel, of course. Yeah! Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Oh, so there's only three of us here. Okay. I thought there was like four or five originally, but I don't know. Maybe I was wrong. Yes, yes. Very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, yes, of course. Welcome everyone, welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations! And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But, first things first, yes, yes? I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate, and... Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so that was one thing he always did, and I'm sure all of you that have already played Animal Crossing will know this. He's a swindler, dude. He's a swindler. He's a swindler. He's a swindler. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time I played GameCube, oh, my God. it took me so long to pay off my debt, because I didn't realize I was in debt to this hooker, I was like 8 years old. <laughs> Anyways, ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself, let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please, collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy, then choose a spot to place it. Okay. Alright, I don't know which one you are. Timmy! Alright, hello Timmy. Yay! My very own tent! Once you find the perfect spot, press X to access your inventory, then select your tent to place it. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you'll want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. Oh, I suppose I should probably set you up with a map too. I mean, yeah, that'd probably help. <laughs> Once you put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need it. Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. So wait, can I only put it in this little thing? Because I heard that you could put it, like, you could put stuff anywhere. And that's kind of cool. Because, like, obviously in the GameCube version, you can only put stuff, like, in your house and in other people's houses. So, let's see if I can put it here. Oh my god, I can! No... Yeah, let's rethink that. Um... Okay, so if you stop moving, then the... thing will pop up. Okay. So, yeah. I want to put it near the beach. Okay, so obviously, 
This is the beachfront. Can I... This would be pretty cool. Like, right, can I put it on the sand? That would be interesting. I'm too close to an edge. I need more room. Okay. Uh, what about here? The ground isn't stable near these rocks, so I should try it. Wait. So what if I... So can I not put it on the sand? Too close to the water, I need more room. Oh. I thought you could put stuff anywhere. Oh, I can put it here. Are you serious right now? Yes, let me imagine it. Use your imagination. Oh. I don't even need a house, dude. I'll just camp out on the beach. That's pretty dope. Alright. Yeah, let's go. I set up my tent. That's a big first step. Mm-hmm. Nice. What is this? Nothing new. Oh, message. Oh, okay. Present from residents, from friends. Oh, this is just a mailbox in general. Okay, I thought it was like inventory or whatever, I guess. Hello there, person. Oh, this is Robin, right? Oh, Sparrow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I assumed your gender. I mean, uh, race. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, I'm Sparrow. You're Daniel, right? Nice to meet you. Like, whoa. You already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's gotta have lots of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Daniel? Uh... Yeah, I'll find you a spot. Yeah! Okay, then. Can't wait to see the epic spot you pick out. Yeah, man. You seem pretty dope. So I won't try to get you kicked out yet. <laughs> I mean, I was to assume that you can still do that in this game. Because <laughs> you could just whack them with your... <laughs> In the first game, you could just whack them and like just piss them off, basically, and then they would leave. They would move out and they'd make a big scene about it, you know. Oh yeah, people just don't like me or whatever, and then they'd leave, and then someone else would move in. <laughs> so. All right, cool. I'll help you out now because you seem pretty cool. But I've also had like. Uh, what was I like eight when I played the first one and it's okay so I haven't played it in like 13 years something like that that's like very bad rough estimated math so can I pick this up no okay all right he needs to do him some cardio so he needs a good like open spot and there's a lot of tree oh no this would be a good one right here not too close to my house, so I can, you know, not deal with them if I don't want to. Alright, right here. Also, you didn't get to pick where people were placed in the first game. They just kind of built their house wherever. Yes. Uh... Yeah, I think that's a good spot. Yeah, Sparrow's got a place for his tent now. Nice. So wait, is he in the tent? Oh, I can't even go in it anyways. Wait, did he show up on my radar or was he just... Hmm, okay, guess not. Or, I said radar, it's a freaking tent. Okay, so, what's up? Hey, Daniel, find me a good place yet? You know it. Awesome, I can't wait to see it. Thanks, Daniel. I wonder how that Sylvia is doing. She might be having as much trouble as I was, so maybe you should go and see if she needs help. Alright, cool. I mean, she's just a single mom, so I could go help her out if you know what I mean. Sorry, this is Animal Crossing. This is a wholesome, family-friendly experience. <laughs> not about to start out this playthrough <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm not a furry, trust me. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna stop talking. Oh, God, this is nostalgic. 
Wait, where is Sylvia anyways? Sylvia. Sylvia. I mean, because you can't swim. Where the heck is she at, dude? Fish. Fish. I can't see, I like, I can't pick anything up yet, so let's go, oh, hi, right here. Hello, you are, wait, I got it, don't tell me, you're Daniel, nice guess, right? See, I told you I had it. I'm Sylvia, I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing. You already found a good spot, huh? I was trying to just feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble guess. Everybody's spot feels like the best one, or no, everyone. Every spot, sorry. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over forever, so I grabbed a stick and threw it, and here's where it landed. So now, this is my spot, okay? I know there's only so far I can throw the stick, but I'm liking it. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... You know what? If the stick told you to put your tent here, then you put your tent here. It looks pretty good to me. Well, if you're sure, actually, let's think about this a little. If I put my tent here, oh, don't overthink it, fam. Don't overthink it. Oh, oh, this, okay, that was just a okay. Looks nice, don't it? Sure, looks fine to me. Also, for now on, this won't just be anywhere on the island. It's gonna be my home sweet home. Nice. I can't believe I got such an awesome spot. You rock. Hold up, does this mean you helped Sparrow with his tent too? Whoa, you're a seriously awesome person. I gotta be honest, when we got here, I was kind of worried there were way too few of us. I mean, you're not the only one, if we're being totally honest, but alright. But if we get to live here with someone like you, I can totally rest easy. Oh, everyone else is probably waiting on us, so let's get back to the plaza. Boing! <laughs> to boink. <laughs> that was another thing. It's just such basic comedy, but it, it's so effective. Dude. Like, it's, it's it's very... I don't want to say child-friendly. I don't care about monetization, but it's not for kids. Fuck shit tits. I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. I mean, I don't think a tent is a home per se, but I... Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party! We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. Oh nice, that sounds pretty dope. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yeah. Oh, okay, so yeah, apparently there's crafting in this too. So instead of having to buy everything, you can build it and whatnot. Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Sylvia, Tommy, and Sparrow can set up things here on the plaza. Meanwhile, Daniel and I will work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. Okay. Alright, everyone, let's get to it. Daniel, would you come with... Okay. Why do I have a feeling he's not really going to do anything and I'm going to have to do all of it? <laughs> Ah, Daniel, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly ten tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So when you find the one lying on the ground, you just press Y to pick it up. Okay. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the cherry-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real cherries. Okay, yeah, because obviously shaking trees and getting cherries is really easy. So, okay, so just click Y to pick it up. Okay, and he said we need ten of them. Okay. I thought you could shake the trees and get them as well. Maybe it was people chopping them down, I don't know. I've seen a couple videos of like just like reviews and things and I know you can get them from trees if they're not already lying on the ground. Wait, let's try and shake this one. Maybe it'll... Maybe? Give me your branches! Oh, okay, yeah. It works. Nice. Look at me, big brain. Also, these still, <laughs> these trees still look like penises, but all right. <laughs> oh, yep, you can still sprint with me, like freaking every Nintendo game ever. Run. Also, the penis trees have, okay, you know what, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. 
It's a family friendly game. Got ten. Nice job. Nice job. I did it. Wait, can I pick this up? I can. I've got a rock. Now you know what we're here already. How am I lost? This place is so small. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna pick up everything. Never know when you'll need it. Hello, I've got your ten branches. Yep, got the branches. Mm-hmm. Because I'm an overachiever. Mm-hmm. I'll take what you need off your hands now. Yes, yes, there should be plenty for our campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. Woohoo. And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like cherries, they smell like cherries, and they even taste like cherries. You know, they're probably apples, if we're being honest here. Probably just two small apples. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine cherries, so will you collect six of them? What? <sighs> just when I thought you were actually going to help me. I'm sure, <laughs> you know what, alright, fine. Yes, I am aware, I've already shaken the penis trees for some sticks. Alright, well, yep, that's, that sounds totally, alright, whatever. Wait, isn't it, I think, if I remember correctly, you can only have, like, one type of fruit grow on your island? Because I had peaches in mine on the GameCube, but if I went to, because uh, there was like a thing, you could plug up your Game Boy to the, uh, like if you had a, uh, a link cable that had a uh, GameCube thing as well, you could go in like this mini game and you could get... Pears, I believe it was like a little mini game that you could travel to this island and you could get pears and stuff Or maybe it was just an island in general. I remember playing a mini game um, With my Game Boy it was like a 2d I don't know. It, was, it was really weird, but it was like the only way that you could get those As far as I was aware honestly, it's been so long. I honestly don't remember it much I mean totally honest with you. There are just very specific things. I remember I did, how many did he tell me to get? <laughs> mm -hmm. You're welcome for the cherries. That are 100% cherries, because, you know, it took a genius to figure that out, but I... No, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. That is a big campfire for like six sticks, if we're being honest. Jeez, look at that. Alas, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business <laughs> What? <laughs> and perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman. <laughs> kind of numbers that I originally envisioned. <laughs> well, that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, hmm? But what should we call... Okay, okay, I was wondering, I was like, when do you get to freaking, like, actually name it? And do you name it, like, a town? Like the other ones? Or do you name it, like, the entire island? Because... I don't know. I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of the island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules. Hmm? How much you want to bet there are going to vote for mine? So take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. Suggest a name for the island. You can't change this. This can be seen by others during. Okay. Alright, so it does seem like 
you just name the island itself instead of like the town like you usually do so obviously I mean pretty I'm and it's gonna seem pretty weird but this is just personal to me it's not very original or anything like that but I'm going to name it Kawhi so it's okay a you a Kawaii! Are you sure with Kawaii? The world of Animal Craft? Yes, yes, we're we're. Alrighty, is everyone ready? Let's try to say our ideas at the same time. Ready, go! Kawaii! Rocks a lot? I'll. Wait, what was that? Okay, those were some really weird names, but alright. What splendid variety! Yes, yes, each one a potential gem. I mean, I don't think that kangaroo over here really ha you know what that's whatever we all have our own opinions but that one was pretty crap <laughs> Not really i'll say each name in order and you can clap for the one you think is the best daniel seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibility okay all right thank you thank you sir let's start there so daniel suggested kawaii Oh, nice. See, look, everyone voted for me. Oh, except for Tom, because he's a cuck. <laughs> Each and every one of you clapped. Except for you. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Kawaii. Yeah, nice job, nice job. Alright, I'm totally great at this. Splendid, then. From now on, this island will be known as Kawaii. Well, Daniel. Since you've proven yourself by naming Kawaii, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we need to make on this island. Yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of Kawaii. Oh, jeez. Daniel, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? Uh, yeah, no, a word or two is definitely something I would say. <laughs> and everyone claps, okay. Hmm, so we've settled on a name for our island and we've selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. With what exactly? Oh, nice, we've all got juice boxes. <laughs> it's fresh juice made from cherries. Then, without further ado, a toast to Kauai and the happiness of its residents. Cheers! Nice! Glug, 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 glug. Nice! So, I don't know if it's synced up with real time now, because obviously it's 1 o'clock in the morning at this point, and this video has been recording for 40 minutes. Nice! But, guys, I think that is going to do it for this episode. Um, obviously, I'm going to continue recording because I'm not just going to hop off right now, but uh, this episode is 40 minutes uncut, and I need to cut it still, so... But uh, if you like this video and you'd like to see more, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and be sure to comment. Also, if you guys have Animal Crossing New Horizons and have Nintendo Switch Online, uh, be sure to leave your friend code down in the description, or just description, in the comment section for me. And, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll meet each other's villages, or islands now sorry i'm still used to like the towns and stuff like that this is so different than what i played so long ago but um uh, anyways yep this is going to be the end of this video but like i said be sure to like it up leave your friend code down below and yeah nice being back guys